hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys it's a wrap on the big brother niger level of season like tonight was the last day of the reunion and it was underwhelming guys it was underwhelming <laughs> i i can't even lie i think the only interesting part that actually a lot of people wanted to see was the whole beauty and bella situation which i love because i love the way the both ladies handled it like they're not friends they're not friends um bella said you know what we're not friends we're not friends in the house we're just housemates so i mean there was no need for us to either come out and be friends for shag shag said beauty is his g you know and that Bella is his babe, but then again, the fact that they are not cool, that's for them. He's going to respect whatever, you know, boundaries they have and all that. And Bella on her own said, you know what? I mean, Shex has friends as beauty that she doesn't F with. And she too has friends that um, Shex doesn't F with. As long as they respect each other and respect, you know, their relationship, they are cool. Beauty on her own said that she and Bella were not friends. And Bella also mentioned the fact that there was no need for her to even pursue any friendship but because um, when she came out, she found out that um, Beauty unfollowed her. Beauty said she was not the one that unfollowed her, that it was her team that unfollowed her um, because they said um, that Bella said something about her having a man that is sponsoring her life and also had a lot of vile things to say about her she also said um there was this conversation that bella had where bella was saying that she liked shags and according to her when shags came out of the house shags met up with her and apologized for that and bella said yes i actually felt that you liked shags and also bella said she doesn't know where this whole conversation about um she's saying that beauty life was being sponsored by men you know and According to Bella, she said that conversation happened um, that Doyen was the one that said in the clip that Bella said that Beauty's life is being sponsored by a man. So if you look at it critically, it was a hearsay. It was what Doyen said that Bella said, but there was no clip to actually show that Bella said that. So at the end of the day, it's all defined. They are not friends. They have no, um, whatever they have no intention to be friends. And that's it. So honestly, I respect that. I F with that big time. Like if you're not friends with somebody, there's no point pretending. Like I always say, uh, multi-choice has a way of putting out putting out 30 second clip to make you or to paint some kind of nonsense narrative and then when you finally watch the show you realize that yeah that was not what happened after the whole bella beauty and shek situation then we had the most boring conversation ever the brian Ilebaye, and somehow modella oh i actually thought that the whole conversation would go in the direction of uh maybe brian apologizing to Ilebaye for calling her dad and all this then it started with oh if feelings he'd not have feelings you had like that was like the most like scattered conversation i've had all this reunion like they wasted about 15 minutes even went on a commercial break came back i was still on the same issue a uh, hair gel uh, like at least modella got to speak Modela got to speak at some point. I mean, people that weren't talking, you know, before got to talk. Christy O later even got to say something when it was time for Fam Savvy, you know, to talk about his own triangle. And uh, concerning Fam Savvy, he said um, he was attracted to Amaka. He was attracted to Christy O at some point. He was attracted to Diana at some point, which we later summarized to Amaka disappointed him. He moved on to Christy O. Christy O did not really happen. Then he moved on to Diana before he got evicted. I'm outside the house since October last year. He told Diana that they were to go on a date. Until today, the date has not happened. Or till the day of the reunion, Sha, the date has 
has not happened, so we don't know if it has happened or not. And Chrissy O said that some service move to Amaka was basically strategic because Amaka, you know, cooks a lot and it was for his stomach. And Farm Service refuted that. And Chrissy O said, you know, that Farm Service is a joke, that even though they are G's now, but he's a joke and all that. So at the end of the day, Amaka na first choice for Farm Service, Chrissy O na second choice, and uh, Diana was the third choice. Then after that, we got to the point where Ibuka was rounding things up and he was asking different housemates if the um reunion was worth it. Daniela said to her she felt it was worth it, even though she was kind of baffled about how some, you know, um arguments went on because she thought that, okay, um being this long and if you feel this kind of way about somebody, like you should have called the person on the phone and sorted this out instead of having it in you and creating this animosity. Chomsey on her own part said it's been worth it. At least with the reunion, she got to find out that, you know, somebody um was laughing with her but yet had bad intentions towards her elo swag said on his own um he never had any ill feelings towards chomzy he really cares about her and that's not in past tense fam service said the reunion has been worth it i mean he got a date out of all this yes and chichi said um it's been worth it and ibuka made mention that for chichi she said she did not really say how or she did not even say a lot of things that she wanted to say she said she came to clear a lot of narratives that have been put out about her even among the housemates how fans are pushing out the narrative that she has a child and she's married that the person they are calling her husband is her dad's younger brother and the child the child in question is actually her uncle's child that she's not married and all that but last last you know she has been able to clear out some narratives that has made some housemates behave a certain way towards her. Anna on her own said that the reunion was worth it. I mean, she saw that there's been a lot of glow up. People are no longer looking like the way they used to look before. You know, they've changed for the better. And Doyin on her own said that the reunion also gave her the chance to meet people that she doesn't always see. And also that um, it also gave her the chance to pour out her mind you know, about somebody that is adequate, yes, guys, that she will naturally not talk to on the norms. And at the end of the day, Ibuka left them with some words, you know, about how this reunion, how they've changed in personality, being able to hold themselves, being able, you know, there's been a lot of improvements. Also letting the fans know that some of the these housemates are not like um not all of them are cut out for the life of fame some people tasted the fame and said no i don't want it anymore some people came to the show to win some people came for it to be like a launch pad into the entertainment industry while for some people it's just for them to taste and see what the show is all about then he went on to ask them who would want to come back or to go back into the house again? And almost all of them raised their hand, Beauty, um, Chomzy, and a lot of them. And then Ebuka asked, who wouldn't want to do this again? Bella and Grifaya said, no, they are not going to do that. Bella said, you know what, She's not. she doesn't want to go back into the house. Like, no, 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 she loves her life. And Ibuka was like, what if Shags was in there? She said, no, don't worry, I'll wait for him outside. Gidefaya said the same thing, that he is not ready, you know, to go through that journey again. And the funny thing is, the fans wouldn't understand. When you try to tell them, they'll be like, oh, I mean, you've tasted fame, and now you don't want us to taste the same fame as you have. So that was the show tonight, guys. What do I think? Ah, Level Up Reunion has got to be one of the worst big brother niger reunions i've seen it was like they started giving priority to things that are not supposed to be given priority to like this whole brian and a they talk too much for something i don't even understand there was not even a resolution i thought i would hear okay why did you insult the dad or oh, are you uh, how do you feel about it the next thing i'm hearing is oh i wanted to tell her i didn't want to tell her about you know my feelings i wanted to tell her she's being childish it's like from where to where oh he had feelings for me we were vibing i'm like what is this why i'm actually burning my fuel fuel i bought how much per liter to watch what like it was annoying at some point for me like i just sat in front of my tv and i'm like ah if not that i have to talk about this stuff honestly there was no reason for me to watch because it was honestly underwhelming well thank god for diana though she always knows how to bring out the humor 
in everything. I'm going to be letting you guys know what I think about the reunion in general. And mind you, I've said that that reunion was underwhelming. And I'm going to let you know what I thought, issues that I thought that they would have actually talked about, which somehow they swept under the carpet. But I will not do it in this video. I'll be doing it in another video that I'll be doing by God's grace tomorrow. So you guys should watch out for that. For tonight's episode, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azini Williams.